Welcome once again to the newsroom. I am Sinisola Hadikun. The federal government says it has provided 470 billion Naira special fund in the 2023 budget for university revitalization and upward adjustment of lecturer salaries. The Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, who made this known at a briefing in Abuja on Wednesday, explained that the sum of 300 billion Naira is for university revitalization, while 170 billion Naira is for upward adjustment of the university's lecturer's salaries. The development comes five days after members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, suspended their eight-month strike over the upward review of lecturers' welfare, amongst others. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, has sealed 62 illegal degree awarding institutions in Nigeria. The agency also shut down a fake National Youth Service Core NYSC orientation camp. Represented by Hanatu Mohammed, the ICPC board member in charge of youth, Owasanoye said the commission had prosecuted the perpetrators. Owasanoye added that the agency has also set up anti corruption vanguards in schools to push the fight against corruption, particularly in tertiary institutions. The Arewa Joint Committee says the region has not endorsed any presidential candidate for the February 2023 general elections. The chairman, steering committee of the Arewa Group, Muratala Aliyu, in a communique signed and made available to newsmen in Kaduna, explained that the interaction was not aimed at endorsing any presidential candidate. According to the committee, the interaction was planned with the goal to showcase the potential of candidates in the open so that the North and Nigerians can decide who has the best blueprint for the nation and make the best choice of whom to vote for in the elections. Reports that a 16-year-old girl has died in a COVID-19 quarantine center after pleas from her family for medical help were ignored have caused anger in China. Distressing footage shows the teenager ill, struggling to breathe and convulsing in a bunk bed at what appears to be a quarantine center in Ruzo, Henan province. The girl's aunt said six members of the family were quarantined and that her niece was not sick when she first arrived. During protracted lockdowns in some regions in China, there have been repeated cases of people being denied medical care by overzealous officials because of rigid rules requiring negative tests to enter hospitals. President Mohamed Buhari may soon sign into law the Nigerian startup bill passed by the National Assembly. The senior special assistant to the president on digital transformation, Oswald Gwobadia, who disclosed this in Abuja on Tuesday, added that no fewer than 10 states of the federation have indicated interest in adopting the bill if assented to by the president. He said that the bill was poised to help increase the value of creativity and foster Nigerian youth dominance in the economic environment. In Mali, forces say they killed 50 militants in airstrikes conducted in Tessalit area in northern Kidal region. The strikes were set to be directed at positions held by militant groups. The army, supported by Russian mercenaries and local militia groups, has been battling jihadist groups in central and northern Mali. Militants from Islamic State Sahel province have increased their presence in northern Mali since French forces withdrew in August. In sports, tens of thousands of Mexicans heading to Qatar have been warned to leave tequila behind as authorities seek to avoid a World Cup culture clash in the Muslim Gulf state. Authorities say alcohol will be sold at special zones around the eight tournament stadiums before and after the games in a FIFA fan zone and specially designated areas. Fans from the Latin American nation are expected to be one of the largest contingents of foreign supporters. That's it on the newsroom at this time. Thank you for watching.